happen for her children refused to be comforted for her children because they were not. Thus saith the Lord, Refrain thy voice from weeping and thine eyes from tears, for thy work shall be rewarded, saith the Lord, and they shall come again, again from the land of the enemy, and there is hope in thine end, saith the Lord, that thy children shall come again to their own border. Yeah, because so that, that uh, Jeremiah was talking about that situation that happened in Rome and how the Mosai was going to cause us to come back to our land but what do we have to do? We had to fall first. We, we came over here to the Americas and scattered throughout the whole world. We went through all this hell, hardcore slavery in America and around the world. And now we're at the end of this thing. And this man's getting ready to go down. And the Mosai is about to gather the elect, not all of us, the elect, and bring us back to the land of uh, our homeland. And then we're going to bring back um, the seed through... Um, having sex with our woman so we're at the end of this thing but like I said all the scriptures that we read were all talking about the Roman Empire we're talking about specific times in the Roman Empire go ahead um, back in Revelation 12 and 5 and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron that was Yahawashai go ahead and her child was caught up unto, unto the Most High and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of the Most High, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. And that, and that, that right there didn't happen yet, as of yet. But it's getting ready to happen. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon which is this so-called white man, this man's military, NATO, which America is part of NATO, and they're going to fight against the angels. And the angels, led by the Lord, is going to take this, this, this man out. Go ahead. And prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. And, that's not, and, that, and that war wasn't against the spiritual demon Satan. That was against the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. And it says the devil. So that proves that this so-called white man, these Edomites, are in fact the devil. Go ahead. Which deceiveth the whole world. And that's what they did. They deceived the whole world. Go ahead. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and, and, and the kingdom of, the mo of our power and the power of his anointed. For so that can only happen when this man is, is taken down, is destroyed. Right. Yep. <clears throat> in other words, we're not going to build a big, gigantic, um, what is that, uh, Wall Street, Black Wall Street, in this country Alright we ain't going to open big Buildings and, and so forth Our job Is what we've been doing for years And we haven't stopped We haven't taken any breaks It's going out there on the highways and the byways And you see us here up in the studio Alright Doing these shows And through us going out here Coming out breaking down these scriptures Others have or saw us or watched us on the web through the power of the unicorn all right and now they're teaching so we're doing exactly what we're supposed to do man nothing in the scripture where it says get you a, a 501c3 uh a tax uh well it's a tax a tax uh exempt status and there was one cracker he was talking about there's a lot of these edomites that are, are totally against that 501c3 and they tell you when you watch these videos or, or look at these documents they'll tell you the word tax exempt means this if you're supposed to pay the government a certain tax you get exemptions to your taxes let's say you owe the government um, $11,000 and you deducted this and you deducted that and you got that tax exemption and you got this tax ex exemption. Now, if, in the beginning, if you owed them eleven thousand dollars, 
with those tax exempt exemptions, you might only owe them two thousand dollars. So when you apply for a tax exempt status, that means it's assumed that you owe a, that you're going to owe a certain amount of tax. But just but but at the end of the uh, year, however it works, you don't owe them any anything because you didn't use that for yourself. You had a, 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 a non-profit organization which you so-called help the people. And there's a way, ways of getting around that too. Where you can go to a certain country, say that you're going to give this uh, governor a million dollars, but you really give him, gave him a uh, hundred thousand, and then you gave him another thousand to help his people, then he kicks back the rest. And then you pocket the money. That's what these churches are doing. All right? So that's not our job to get, to, to get some type of uh, 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 status with the government. Because Congress, and I said this before, Congress, they create the laws. And what they do is, they, the laws only go as far as, well, it doesn't go past religion. If you're doing something in the name of religion or the, or the name of spirituality or the name of uh, Christianity or the name of being a Hebrew Israelite, well, it, the, the uh, Congress has no, 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 no authority over, over you, period. So they can't make you sign nothing. But you got these idiots out here that are going to go run to the government, which is the devil, and, and sign a contract with this damn devil. Because it is a contract. Because if you violate any of these uh, contracts, you lose that status. So y'all got y'all got y'all got to wake up, man. Our job is to teach this word, break these scriptures down to you, and that's it. That's how we're, we're to, to feed you, man. That's in Jeremiah. We're, we're supposed to feed you. Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. That's right, and it's starting right now. Ultimately, it's talking about the kingdom. All right, go ahead. Uh, this is back in Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of, the, of our power and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And that's talking about Esau, the so called white man. The devil, so you can understand. So now let's go back to uh, Romans 13. And let's read that again. Uh, Romans chapter 13 verse 1 Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers For there is no power but of the most high The powers that be are ordained of the most high Whosoever therefore resisteth the power Resisteth the ordinance of the most high And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation For the rulers, for rulers are not a terror to good works But to the evil Wilt thou then not be afraid of the, of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of the Most High to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of the Most High, a revenger, of, uh, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore you must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. For this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are the most highest ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom. Because back then, 
during the time of the Roman Empire, like I said, when the Romans took our people over, what they uh, set in place was a tributary, a tax. They had a census. Now, the thing that, that's different from America was you, not, you wasn't supposed to pay any taxes. But uh, through time, mainly uh, starting in 1913, that's when they instituted that, that tax. The victory tax came out.